Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Jordan Report and I am your host, Robert Jordan. Everyone, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Okay guys, now that Bill Gates' global agenda vaccination is being, you know, exposed for the whole world to see, we can see what the globalist plan is doing all along with the, with the, with the vaccines, the open borders, it's all tied together. The globalist propaganda that's directed against white Americans specifically because they have a they have a real problem with white Americans and compliance. Now I'm going to go through a quick article and I'm going to show you how open borders and vaccination are tied together. It's a it's a globalist plan to vaccinate the whole planet. And the problem that they have it with are people who are non-compliant. And that is basically white Americans right now. And so this is why a lot of this stuff is directed at them. Anyway, here's the first article, and well, there's only one article, and then I'm going to show you a quick clip of this woman talking, and I'm going to show you how all this stuff is tied together. Influential doctor claims we must get rid of all whites to enforce vaccine compliance. The problem the globalists are having is white people will not take orders. They will not do what they're told, and you can see that with the protest today over the, over the, uh, over the coronavirus. The only people who are protesting are white people. Okay, the, the blacks and the browns are, are, are following orders. But anyway, when the globalists say listen to the expert, this is who they mean. This is this doctor here talking. And I'm going to see, show you what she's talking about. A clip from an inter, uh, influential doctor may explain how the globalist agenda to pump vaccines into the masses and flood the third world, for, flood the world with third world migrants could be one in the same. It is one in the same. Because if you change the politics of the country, through population control, through population manipulation, you gain control of the politics. You get to force the vaccines on the people who will take it. A prominent Texas physician told a panel discussion at the National Meningitis Association during a May 2016, this goes back a little bit, meeting in Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia that crushing the white population was the key to getting the public to blindly accept vaccines. The battle was being fought one family, one physician, one health center. That's why we are doing as well as we are, said Dr. Carol Baker, MD, of Baylor College of Medicine, Texas Children's Hospital. We're talking about the minority and the strategies against the minority. So I have the solution. Every study published in the last five years, when you look at the vaccine refusers, again, the people who are refused, Okay, that's who they're directing all their anger at. We'll just get the we'll just get rid of the whites in the United States, because Houston is one of the most diverse cities in the entire United States. She added. Now I'm going to show you the clip of her saying this whole thing because it's just unbelievable and it's something we should know. The battle is being fought, one family, one physician, one health center. That's why we're doing as well as we are. We're talking about the minority and strategies mm. against the minority. So I have the solution. Every study published in the last five years, when you look at vaccine refusers, I'm not talking about, well, hesitants, most of them we can talk into coming to terms, but refusers. We'll just get rid of all the whites in the United States because Houston is the most diverse city in the entire United States. There are seven Asian languages spoken in that city. I've been a minority for more than 20 years in the city of Houston. The, the majority is we call Hispanic. That is not a race or an ethnicity. That is a political designation. But a lot of them are from Central, South America, Mexico. Guess who wants to get vaccinated the most? immigrants okay now that tell you that right there she they believe they'll get more and it's actually true they'll get compliance out of black people they'll get compliance out of hispanics as you can see they are not rebelling whites are rebelling now i'm not making this uh report to defend anybody white people can defend themselves i'm just making an observation because i don't want to live in a country where these people are in control